The following is a tutorial uh, on the division property of exponents um, using the same method we did for the negative and uh, zero exponents where we're going to just kind of try some stuff out and see what happens. So for this problem we're doing 4 to the 6 over 4 to the 4th. Well, the way to go about doing this is let's list out all the factors. 4 to the 6 is 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 and 4 to the 4th is 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. And so what is true, if you've got factors over factors, you can cancel out what they have in common. So we can cancel out one set of fours and then another and another and another. So we can cancel four fours out. So what we're left with is four times four on top, or four squared, and then one on the bottom. We don't have to put that because four, anything over one is just what it is. So it's four squared. Um, but we can write that down. So that, that is the same as four squared. And if you notice, 2, which is the exponent we have left, is the same as 6 minus 4. If we do another problem, that is 3 to the 3rd over 3 to the 7th, we can go through and list out the factors again the same way, where we um, do 3 times 3 times 3 on top, and then 3 times itself 7 times um, on the bottom. And then after we have listed all the factors out, we're going to do the same process of canceling out what they have in common. And again, this only is true if you're multi multiplication here. Um, and so since it's all multiplication, we can do this canceling. And so that leaves us with one on the top, because whenever you take care of everything, that's just a one left. And then three or four threes on the bottom, so it's three to the fourth. And again, the four comes from the seven minus three. Okay, so that leaves us uh, with uh, the ability to write down a, a property of division. Um, and so our division property of exponents, um, we're going to go ahead and write out. And in, in it, what we're going to talk about is subtracting exponents. Um, and we will go ahead and call it the quotient uh, of powers property. Okay, so your quotient meaning division. Okay, um, so the quotient of powers property states that when dividing powers with the same base, again, this is like the multiplication pro properties where you gotta have the same base. So when, to divide powers of the same base, base, you have to subtract exponents. And the key here is, so you remember you're subtracting exponents, but the key is you, you do the um, subtraction where the uh, po highest power is. So in the first problem, our subtraction happened in the numerator because six was bigger than four. In the second problem, the subtraction happened in the denominator because the um, 7 was bigger than the 3. And so that's why in the first problem, we end up with 4 to the second in the numerator. And then in the second problem, we ended up with 3 to the fourth in the denominator. The other way you could have done it in the second is you could have done uh, 3 to the, th you could have done 3 minus 7 and got 3 to the negative 4, while 3 to the negative 4 is the same as 1 over 3 to the fourth. So again, the key is, remember, the calculation occurs where the highest power is. So in our first example there, our highest power is in the numerator. In the second example there, our highest power was in the denominator, and so that's why we, why we did it there. So that's how you use the quotient, powers, quotient of powers property.